FAQ schema markup. How much do you know about that topic? Well, if you're like me, probably not a lot. And also like me, you've probably been adding FAQs to your blog post incorrectly that may be losing you some traffic. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you what I'm doing around FAQs and how hopefully I've found a solution that can actually drive more traffic to your website with very little effort. So let's get into this. Hi and welcome back to my channel again. If you saw my last video, which was all around my website that I am no longer publishing any more content on, I am just gonna be focusing on updating old content. You'll see from that video that I talked a lot about FAQ and FAQ schema. Now, this is pretty new to me, so full disclaimer here, if you're looking for an in-depth full tutorial on FAQ schemas, you're probably best heading over to some of the videos that I will leave a link in the description to. Some real experts in SEO have made some fantastic videos all around it, very detailed. In fact, some of them I'm gonna mention in this video because they've produced some really good tools that you can use to add this FAQ schema into your WordPress website. But I'm gonna share with you what I know and what I've been doing and why I'm focusing heavily on changing my approach to FAQs using the schema markup. But before we get into that, I do want to remind you all, if you're new to the channel and you've not entered my website giveaway, I'm building a website at the moment called helpfulmonk.com. And at the end of the year, I'm gonna be giving that website away to one lucky viewer. Now the website could be worth thousands of dollars. It's coming along really nicely now. It's a lovely website and you have a chance of winning it. You don't have to do anything, you just need to head over to my website. The link to the giveaway is in the description below. You don't need to do anything, just join my newsletter and I'll keep you updated how the website's going. And then you'll be invited to watch me make a live draw to give away the website at the end of the year. So please head over and join that giveaway. Okay, so what is an FAQ schema? So the FAQ schema is a piece of code or structured data that is wrapped around a piece of content on your blog or in your article that clearly shows Google that that content is focused on FAQs. So by adding FAQs within your article using the FAQ schema, what you're doing is you're really helping Google understand what that piece of content is about. And what it can do for you, it can give you more exposure within the SERPs. Now, if you're like me, you've probably added lots of FAQs to your blog before, and you've probably just done them the same as I did. Used a H2 or H3 headed, write the word question, ask the question, and then write a paragraph underneath with the answer. Thinking Google will know that that is a FAQ, it's answering a question, and it should rank it for a different search term. But that's not always the case because Google might look at that piece of content and think it's related within that one article. So what it could do is it can rank that one article for that keyword, but it doesn't really rank it for many other keywords, even if you've answered that question within that post. Because Google's struggling to pick out those questions from your content. You may have two or 3,000 words on there, and it's struggling to find those questions within that piece of content. So if we use some structured data to actually wrap that question and answer with this code, so it can clearly see that you have answered extra questions within this piece of content related to this topic. Now by adding your FAQs within your content using the schema markup, what you do is you become visible in extra places within Google. Now there's two main places it shows up. The first one is what's called rich snippets. Now these are sections you often see underneath your listing within the SERP. So you'll see that your main article is there listed within the SERP. And then underneath it, you'll see some drop down boxes where you've answered extra questions. You've enriched the results of that search and you have more opportunities for people to click your article and head over and read the full piece of content. So these are called rich snippets. And the second part where you can show up is in the PAA, so the people also ask. Now I did a video about this recently and I mentioned that quite a lot that I'm getting a lot of results showing up in that because I'm now using this schema markup to clearly show Google that I'm answering other related questions in this topic from this one article. 
So not only do I show up now in the search results for that one main keyword, hopefully in position one, but I'm also then ranking for people also ask. Now, before you rush off and start investigating what FAQ schema is, you need to actually make sure you head over to Google's guidelines. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below for that because there are some strict guidelines on it. Things like you have to produce that list of FAQs within a piece of content. It has to be more than three, I believe it is, actual questions answered. I tend to add five to be on the safe side because I want three to show up. So that's the average amount that shows up in the SERPs. So I tend to answer five questions, hoping to get them full three, because it won't use all the FAQs, it'll pick some of them. So you have to make sure that you answer more than one question in that blog post. You also shouldn't be using FAQs to push products and links, that's definitely frowned upon. And you cannot use it for user created content. So you can't use it on a forum where all the questions that people submit within a forum, it has to be the publisher's content that goes into the structured data. It's also important that if you're answering the same question kind of multiple times within your blog post, that it only goes into the FAQ just once. And there are a few other criteria. Like I say, you do need to go read the guidelines before you start playing around with this. So I read the guidelines and as long as you are publishing three to five genuine questions that are helpful, related to that topic, they're on your website and they're wrapped with the FAQ schema, I couldn't see really any drawbacks to doing it. So it's something that I am implementing now across all my websites. I'm converting my old method of doing the FAQs, which is basically H2 heading and answer a question into the wrapped schema format. So how do you implement FAQ schema? Well, there are a number of ways you can do it. One of the easiest methods I've found, if you're using an SEO plugin like Rank Math or Yoast, they actually have the facility built into those plugins. Now, it was something that I had not a clue was in there and it was sat in front of me all along. Now, I don't use many SEO tools. In fact, most of my websites don't have them on. And in that case, there are other methods you can use. So you can also use it within Gutenberg. So Gutenberg has an add-on called Cadence Block, and you can use that actually inside your Gutenberg written articles. Again, it's very, very simple to implement. And if you haven't got any of those tools and you just want to simply implement it on your WordPress blog, there are various methods you can use, mainly involving a piece of code. Now, I am not a coder and I'm not even going to start to dive into the various ways of coding it and adding it to your website. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to a fantastic video and article I found from Matthew Woodward, who wrote a fantastic article and he's built an actual tool that you can use to easily add that piece of code into your header or into your CSS file on your actual post. So, it's not the method I have tried and tested. At the moment, I'm using Rank Math on one of my websites, so I've been playing around with it on that website. And if we head over to the computer now, I'll give you a quick demonstration of how to add it using the Rank Math tool. Okay, so here we are, and I'm just gonna demonstrate the FAQ via the Rank Math tool. And if you click the little plus sign here, you can just type FAQ, and you can see here it comes up or you could just do backslash F and then it finds it there. So all we do is you can see it already adds the block for you. So this has already wrapped it with the schema markup. So then you would type your question. So what is FAQ schema? And then make your answer here. So obviously you need to, you know, do your revision and actually answer that just like you would in any paragraph in a, an article. And then to add another one, you just cl simply click that box there and you can add a second one. So will FAQ schema bring me more traffic? There you go. And then again, you would just answer the question again. Now I suggest like say you add five of these and then once you do that, you could just simply add those to the bottom of each article or wherever you like in the article itself. So when you actually preview the piece of content, it won't look like this box here. It'll just look like a normal paragraph. So if we just preview in desktop, so you can see here that it looks just like any other question would do, but it's actually got that coding wrapped around that. So Google can now come to this page and it can clearly see that this is a question and this is an answer. And that way it will show that question and answer in the SERPs for more results.
And for anybody using Gutenberg, I have heard that this is one of the really popular building blocks within Gutenberg, the cadence blocks, and these also have the FAQ facility within that program. So as I mentioned earlier, Yoast also has an FAQ block within that tool. You can see here, I'll link to this piece of content here. Again, it describes and explains how it works, but this is built into Yoast. So if you're using Yoast for your SEO, again, there's nothing else to pay. It's just a different way of adding the FAQ into your content. So if you're a little bit tech savvy and you want to use the coding rather than any plugins that might slow your website down or you don't use SEO tools, then head over to Matthew Woodward and he is an absolutely amazing SEO expert. It's a website that I frequent very often. I'm a massive fan of his work and he's actually built a tool that will help you. So if you go to his website, again, the link will be in the description, just type FAQ schema generator tool, click that, you can see here he's built a little piece of code that you can add as a script or you can use in WordPress. It has a video tutorial exactly showing you how to do it, but it's very simple. Again, you would just put your question in this box, put your answer in this box, add another question, and it starts adding it to this script here on the right hand side. Once you've answered three to five questions, you just click here to copy the code. You would then head over to your website and add this to the page or post you want those Q and A's to appear on. So again, a fantastic tool that he's provided and a great resource for basically FAQ schemas in general. He answers all about it. He does also show you in the video how you can manipulate the results Hence the reason Google is very strict on the terms and conditions of using this. So like I say, again, reiterate, do go check Google's guidelines before implementing this, but it, he does show you a fantastic trick in there. It's well worth watching the video. So there's the three ways you can install it on your website, either using an SEO plugin, either using Gutenberg, or using the actual code itself embedded straight onto the page or post you want it to appear on. So those are the three most common methods of using FAQ schema. So as you can see, there are various ways you can add the FAQ schema into your website or your blog post using either the SEO tools, a plugin or piece of coding that you can add directly into your files. So there's various ways of doing it. Full disclosure, full disclaimer, as I said, you know on my videos, I don't give tutorials. I just show you what I am doing. And if that helps you, then great. An FAQ schema is what I am putting a lot of time and effort into the moment. And FAQs and schema markup is something that I am learning about and implementing on my site. If I can get four or five extra results in the SERP index from one piece of article, why would you not want to do it? You're gonna two or three or four times your impressions that's there available in the search engine. So it seems like a no brainer to me. And to be honest, most of my articles have FAQs on them. They're just not written in the right way. So Google hasn't a clue that those FAQs are actually on the articles. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember to head over to carlbroben.com and join in my website giveaway. And you might have the chance of winning helpfulmonk.com, my giveaway website. But for now, I'm gonna get back to work adding these FAQ schemas into all my articles. And as ever, I will show you the results as I get them, good or bad. But for now, thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next video.